We leave historic Helsinki and travel for one day to arrive in Wisby, Sweden on day nine. Wisby is the largest city on Gotland Island. When visiting Wisby on Gotland Island, one of the biggest attractions is Lumalunda Caves, which is pretty far. It's not walking distance. Um, so if you want to do that, make sure you plan ahead to get transportation. It was about 20 miles away, so definitely not walking distance in the time you have. <laughs> and uh, according to this, it's uh, one of their most popular attractions and one of Sweden's longest cave systems. So that sounds really interesting. If we ever get a chance, we'd want to go back there and see that. One of the uh, attractions that we didn't get to see is probably the biggest attraction there, I think. It's the Botanical Gardens. And if you're interested, here's what there is to see. So the, this is the kind of things that they have there, and they have a lot of stuff. And some people spent their entire cruise time ashore just going to the botanical gardens all right but what did we do we got off the cruise ship and here's something we haven't said often welcome to <laughs> welcome to sweden welcome to gotland right gotland island right. can you please clarify <laughs> <laughs> so this is gotland island and it's owned by Sweden, this whole island. And the town that we're going to visit today is called Wisby. And it's spelled with a V, but I think it's pronounced Wisby. Yeah, which is opposite to what we're always taught. Every time you see a W, you pronounce it as a V. Yeah. But here, the V is pronounced as a W. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of what it was like in... Um, Cabber Hill. Oh, that was way cleaner. <laughs> Cabber Hill, you can see the bottom. Yeah, oh, look, you can see the bottom. Well, there's stuff in there. You can only see. This is the ocean. Uh, this is pretty. Right there, you can't see the bottom. Well, it's because it's deep. Look yeah. at where the boat's parked. Well, in Cabber Hill, it was like everywhere you could see. This is oh, beautiful, and it does not smell funny here. This is a beautiful ocean over here. Look at how clear that water is. See right down to the rocks. Yeah, that was Wow. This is very nice. And unlike Hawaii, the waves aren't crashing on the rocks, making a whole lot of noise. So it's just nice, it's calm, and it's beautiful. Welcome to Wispy. We are going to walk. Yeah. It's about 0.9 miles. To the city center from this pier so that's what we're gonna do because walking is what we do the first thing we did was go to jail so this is like a old jail that was converted to a airbnb so we went there first Small, yeah. <laughs> Cell number seven. Small. Yeah. first thing we did in here. So this part certainly looks like a jail cell. This part kind of turned into a hotel too. 
This is the prison. I guess it did look like a prison from the side. But uh, I didn't realize it was a prison till we were in there. Prison probably also Airbnb. Yeah, no. Prison turned Airbnb. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we walked along the shore. And we went down here and visits, looked at some of the shops and things like that. Oh, this is a Coca-Cola place, so. It's like a 50s cafe. Yeah, of course you have to feature Elvis Presley and everybody else. Oh, look at that old bike. Do, do you want some ice cream? You gotta try something from this little island, right? And then we went up to this area here, which is a really nice pond with um, some statues and things. They're not bobbing booties right now. They're just booties. <laughs> And then we walked along the castle wall. Look at that. The house is partially made from the brick wall. So here I am talking about how far you can see in the water. And when I took off my sunglasses, I realized that you really cannot see that far. So, do those help? Can you see it now? Oh, look at all those birds. They each have their own little island. And we went inside at some point. <laughs> Come on in. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> oh, it's nice in here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can walk around and have a sea view or a garden view. This is nice. Mm -hmm. They're both nice. And we were walking on the inside of the wall, and that's where we saw the botanical gardens. And then we walked up here. Look at the size of this car. <laughs> yeah. It's almost, I have the shortest arms ever. <laughs> it's almost the length of my arm. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's 
1200. This is the former home of a spiral staircase. Sandy found a troll. Anybody know what these are for? <laughs> We see them on both inside and outside of different structures, sometimes just a wall. And we went along the wall again, and we saw some more um, entrances and and uh, lookouts. Here in the town of Wisby, there's a a wall, a castle wall, around most of the city, and you can walk around both sides, outside and inside, and see how life used to be. Oh, that's how they used to shoot people. Oh, geez. Oh, those things under it? What are these? I don't know. I need to... We could research it or maybe someone can help us. But up above, that's where they would defend the castle, defend the wall. Oh, there used to be a big door on here. Then we went up to this entrance. What a pretty basket. All in one pot. Right? All yeah. in one pot of prettiness. Those flowers look like butterflies to attract butterflies to come pollinate. Oh, how interesting. I was just telling Scott, I wonder how many ghosts live in these houses. I'm going to go up there. Whoa, maybe that's how you get up there. Maybe. We're going to be walking on that. Hey, watch that step, yeah? It's a doozy. <laughs> what are these? What is this? What is, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? What's happening here? This is awesome. A carpenter square. It doesn't look square to me. Oh, that's because you're not looking at it. You're looking around there. Let's see if it's as good on the other side. Oh, yeah. We just watched a movie last night called Notre Dame is Burning, I think. Yeah. Or On Fire. It was a French film. And it really gets. Uh, you thinking when you see something like this, you know, that it was on fire and just coming down. Yeah. It's so it's sad. It's yeah. Sad to see that. Yeah. 
spaghetti. Where we actually went outside the castle walls and into the town of Wispy. And then we went back down into the town. Yeah, this is the entrance. And for all you McDonald's lovers. Ooh, El Maco and Company. English. El Maco and Co. Chili mayo. Big chili mayo. Chicken El Maco or veggie. It looks like El Maco everything. What's oh, shaker, shaker fries. fries. Spicy chicken nuggets, tasty spicy. cheese and co. Everything is and co here. Yeah, it's maybe they have a. Oh, green apple shake. Dishes. Green apple shake deluxe. What's a green apple shake? They look like a Korean dipping sauce. Oh, oh frozen pineapple lemonade. Oh, this one's mine. Mango passion. Yeah. Oh, look at this chicken salad. <laughs> And we saw some more of the uh, cathedrals and things. Looks like you get to go in this one. That's huge. This is cool. <laughs> Did you see the Ten Commandments? And then we went back this way. all the way to this side which there wasn't much over here and there wasn't very many people watching that uh, or looking at this kind of stuff as you can see this is the most least visited side of town <laughs> here's the statue here's where we are right now yeah. the least visited side of town uh, there's nobody here Um, and then we went back into the town again, and then down. Right next to a school, I think. That is amazing. And he said we might get lost here. And if we miss the ship, we'll have to spend the rest of our lives here now. Nope. 
and we went down here, which is where we got our ice cream. Sneaker. Oh my gosh, they got chocolate with chili. I'm not a fan of chocolate, but I like chilies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the banana pool. So what did you get? I don't know. I got the cherry. You definitely got the cherry. Something else. And looks like you got orange. The emerald cherry. And the other thing you got kind of looks like mango or melon, even though he wanted grapes. Which is this is what he wanted. But it looks like he had gotten. Oh my God! They have Red Bull. They have Dom Perignon. I think it's um. They have Coca Cola. Shoot! I would have. I should have come down this way. Oh, this is sherbet. That's why. This is different. Mango melon. This is sherbet down here. Yeah, I don't see any oranges. I did not. I guess you did. That wasn't special. That's orange. Yeah, but I don't see. Yeah. So, and the rest of it? Um, really mild. I'm used to like more candy, but it's like creamy, not as sweet as uh, normal American sweets. What did you, know you get again? You got some this kind of crazy. This is Baba. <laughs> Baba Baba. And this is banana cola, and I have no idea. Banana and cola flavor, maybe? You see any spoons? Okay. <laughs> Probably. I don't think they put non you. Why aren't you just gonna eat it? Why are you, why are you looking because for? Because I want to get this flavor without. <laughs> we can, we can get a video of it later. <laughs> or you can do that. That lo that was pretty good. That is truly it. It's name. It's banana and Coca Cola. <laughs> nice. And. Mm. Hubba bubba. Oh, that tastes just like hubba bubba. Awesome. So <laughs> and then we headed back to the cruise ship. There's Scott's first hot dog. What's it called? The Dunkin' Dog. The Dunkin' Dog. Yep. The first bite is not going to have any. How dare they give us a burger first? It's a time of this pen. I can hear crunch. <laughs> Security had to uh, go get somebody and fetch them and bring them on board. So we're leaving like a few minutes late. And now we're going. Okay. All right, folks. What are we looking at today? Mm. 
I think I'll go for that salmon gravelax. Thank you. From tonight, I recommend you the lamb sign. Very nice from the main course. We know the snails though, also good. And from the appetizer, I recommend you the gravelax. So what are you getting? Um, he recommended the salmon gravelax. That's yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. And either the lamb shank or the meter shank. I will so get the I'm lamb get shank. Whatever one you don't get on that. Okay, so Scott will get the Wiener the Wiener recommendation. Sorry, interruption because I've got this bun and that bun looks good. So back to this. I'll get the lamb shank. And Scott will get the Wiener Schnitzel. And then dessert. What are we gonna get for dessert? I'm gonna get the what is it? Paribres. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. I'm just gonna get it. The Satcher Tort looks good for you. Smells good. Looks good. You want to give it a try? Does what it's supposed to. Great. Good. With asparagus. Ah, that's got the wiener snits all over there. <laughs> I got the lamb shank in. That is big. It's beautiful though. It's like chicken fried steak. Yeah. Well, what do you think about it? It's good. It's you try. Oh. Did that go in your teeth? No. Okay. <laughs> did you blow? No, I didn't. I'll uh, hear it. See what you think. I think. <laughs> did it go in there? <laughs> no, I hope not. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it either. Oh. Ah, uh, yay. It's <laughs> alright. Yes. Thank you. Good. Yes, thank you. All right. What do you What's think? that sauce? Um, try it without, and then try it with it. I think I like it better without it. It's like chicken fried steak. Yeah, it's like to me too sweet with that sauce. But what do you think? I like it with the sauce. Maybe it'll be good with your lamb. That looks amazing though. Now try some of that. I think that's the biggest lamb shank I've ever seen. It's very big, yeah. <laughs> they got you the biggest one on the ship. It's so soft and tender. One thing they really do well, lamb and salmon. Yeah. One of the best things it is. <laughs> so good. Okay. This Thank is, you. This is not chocolate cake. That looks like intensely chocolate cake. Intense chocolate. It tastes like chocolate cake. It's like what? Okay. Dense. Ah. Which is great on a day when I had to eat so much food. Mine it's like looks really dark chocolate. They said it would be dark chocolate. It is certainly dark. Yes. It's certainly chocolate. That looks good. Is it light and fluffy? I do not know. Thank 
That's the way it should be if it's a, a cream puff, it should be. Yeah, I don't like it. Because they make it with the egg. Yeah. 